So hello, welcome to stage 46 of the Fiat 126. This is the rear seat back. Now, um, I will warn you, this is uh, the first attempt I've made at recording this differently. Uh, I'm using uh, a, new piece of, uh, a new piece of hardware called uh, a stream deck. And what it's gonna do, hopefully, is streamline everything that I do. Um, so instead of filming and then editing, what I do is I prepare and then film. Um, so this is very, very different for me. Um, I'm also having to use a different camera because my regular camera is just playing up for some reason. I don't know if it's my PC or or the camera or, or something else. Um, but we'll plod along. Um, we've got a nice easy issue uh, to do today. Uh, we're doing the rear seat back, but as what seems to be the trend we do a little bit on the car and then we do a little bit on the caravan and what's happening is both are building up slowly until the whole thing's complete um, so let's see how i got on So hello, welcome to uh, stage 46 of the uh, Fiat 126. Uh, so I'm just changing my lighting because uh, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Um, so as always, let's begin with the parts checklist. And uh, I'm just going to have to, oh, I forgot to undo. Uh, normally I cut the packets over before the, uh, before the filming begins, but as you can see, I haven't done this time. So let's uh, begin with uh, part 46A and this is the rear seat back base and uh, I'm really not liking this. Um, so got some nice detail there, it's just a plastic piece and I do apologize, you know I hate opening packages on screen and this package is extremely difficult to open. Oh, I thought someone had glued it shut then. So, right, a few more pieces. So we have 46B, the rear seat back cover, and this is a, a rubbery, orangey piece of, uh, piece of, um, what do you call it, um, uh, part. And then we have the seat back sponge, and this is exactly as described, it's a piece of sponge. Uh, we then have part D, which is the caravan door lock not really much to see I'm afraid and then we have the uh, caravan door lock inner and again not much to see there it's just a shaped piece of plastic um, and then we have FP screws FP screws times lots two by three millimeter screws and it doesn't say how many there are but it looks to be about 15 to 20 um, and then we have IP screws we've got three of those anyone can count those well I can anyway they're two by four millimeter screws and that leaves us with uh, two AP screws which are 1.7 by three millimeters so let's bring up the instructions and that is the wrong the wrong instructions to start with so that's not really a good start so um, sorry guys I really am sorry right so we begin with step one which is to place the sponge into the back seat cover and that's this piece 46B 46C and that's just going to go very simply into there now what I've learned before is if you just place this in like so we'll tuck that inside the tab there and then we'll try and tuck it in there and then see here where it doesn't go in easily just lift that back place that in there like so just try and make sure that's flat because then you won't get any rucks so on to step two and we need to take the rear, rear seat back base which is 46A and place it under the tabs of the rear seat back cover now this is shaped as you can see and this is going to be nice and simple to do we'll just place that on top there pushing it down 
you know so it's not moving we'll just pull this bit out bring that out on top make sure that sponge is still flat and then I think I'll do the top bit next and we'll just pull those out and that is that's interesting it doesn't look like it wants to oh I see so I thought this wasn't going to fit properly um, so this is a don't panic moment um, as you can see these these here it kind of sits flat but here it sits sort of above it um, but it is obviously how it's meant to go so that's that's once you've pulled the tabs out that's what it will look like and I think we know what's coming next uh, we need to take a gazillion FP screws not a gazillion really but we'll take our FP screws and we'll just tip a few out there and I'll just select a screwdriver head that will fit I think that PH00 is going to be good um, but the PH1 is actually better so we'll take the PH1 end and all we will do is just screw these in now some of these don't want to sit exactly right so you might have to do a bit of manipulation for it and because you're screwing into plastic through rubber I would suggest don't quite fully tighten them up um, I don't know if you saw that but as it came tight it started to move the rubber there I don't know if you saw that and I would suggest that if you move that rubber with the force of the screw you may have possibly just over tightened it a bit too much uh, and then what you want to do then is just back off the screw and I'm doing the front and obviously that's not going to ring that round but can you see that's just in there and there's not really any movement on the rubber and that's what I'm going to go with um, and once I've just noticed once I get this first screw in it all kind of lines itself up so it's a nice simple part and I think we've done this kind of work before we've certainly done it on other part works um, I can't actually remember if we've done it on the I'm sure we have I'm absolutely sure we have there we go so just make sure that's in there there's no movement and that's in there fine and then what I'll do is I will just finish off these last uh, eight screws so there's two four six eight and that will finish off the, the back now this one's a little bit more trickier and the reason for that is that these tabs are sitting just above the hole so go a little bit careful and I hope this camera angle and lighting is working well it looks a little bit blue to me um, so if I do that will that help sorry guys as I said this is all new camera angles uh, I'm trying what I eventually would like to do is bring camera in camera and um, that will enable you to see um, obviously this main camera view you've got here is a close-up of what I'm doing um, but what I'll hope to have with the camera in camera uh, down in the bottom right you'll be able to see more of my workbench so as we work on the whole model rather than a specific part you'll be able to see close up actually where I'm working but you'll also be able to see the whole model as well so if perhaps um, whoops, now this is where it's got a bit tricky um, you see there there's a gap there so you're actually pushing that down so I would suggest perhaps put this screw in first um, because then it's not so far to fall down fall down is that the correct term to use in this particular instance but we're now up to the last screw and this is a big stage really isn't it 
right so really the main question is is that seat in properly are you happy with it as you can see I'm just having a pull and a poke and that I am actually happy with so what I've actually done there is I've, I've slightly misread the instructions and I do apologize stage three is just to pop these these screws in as you can see in the diagram there's eight screws um, and then the next stage is to place the four screws along the top which I have done uh, already and then now this is odd because we've got this tab here but it doesn't say anywhere in the instructions about it it's not actually included in the instructions so that's an odd one um, so I can only conclude therefore that this uh, part has been changed since they they printed the instructions um, so it does let's say let me just I don't know if I can go backwards on these instructions yes I can so stage two three is to put these eight screws in and then stage four if I can find it is to pop these four in but it says nothing about these so I'm going to make the logical assumption that this screw is going in there um, so yeah and perhaps it's a misprint perhaps the part was changed between uh, production but that's absolutely fine so the next step is to bring in let me just move these parts so they're safe so we need to bring in the interior of the fear which is here and this part is going to go into there you can see there there's a couple of screw holes there and there's a couple of pegs there and that's going to go in there just like that and I'll be honest with you I'm not a hundred percent happy with this trim here um, so yeah we were talking about this so this now goes into the back there and this needs to be secured with two IP screws so let me get my IP screws ready and I'm anticipating a little bit of a lineup issue here um, because this seemed to just slide in no problems which is a bit suspicious so you see you've got two pegs there and let me move this light down this is going to be a terrible video isn't it and somehow that screw is going to come through there I don't know if you can see my fingers there so let's see how it goes so we'll line up one screw and I think that this is most definitely going to be a uh, screw until it bites jobby oh actually that they line up really well so um, I think that's going to be okay so again we'll just do this until it oops I've got my screwdriver around the wrong way this is a ratchet screwdriver and it's not quite lined up let's finish screwing these in these screws have gone in absolutely perfectly um, I was anticipating problems but um, as you can see my uh, my concerns were not not really necessary so two screws holding that in so we've only gone yeah look I'm not happy with that I'll be honest with you um, that's something you could probably mod um, or maybe perhaps no okay um, listen it's you know I'm happy with the model but that bit um, so I might just do something with that I might get a piece of um, something orange um, we'll see how it goes it's a little bit of a disappointment but you know that's the way it goes um, so let's move on to uh, sorry that one I've, I've got the wrong instruction up so uh, ste step six is this is how the assembled rear seat should look <coughs> excuse me and then we move on to stage seven which is a uh, uh, we need the caravan door which we've been working on in, in previous episodes and that's this one here and let's see they've got it this way round um, so what we need to be doing is taking uh, insert the caravan lock 46d into the circular hole in the caravan door so that's this piece here 
and you'll see there's a round screw hole type bit um, it doesn't seem to suggest that there's a right and a wrong way to do this um, and that's probably the better way. I put it in one way and it's quite stiff and I put it in another way and it's, it's a little bit looser um, so place the caravan door lock inner 46E over the same hole and secure right okay I see what's happened right so my bad guys so we need to place no this definitely does come from this side right so this goes now this is interesting because this piece goes in there now you can see that there's a little a little stub on the end it looks like a locating peg um, it doesn't say over the same hole secure the parts together with an AP screw don't over tighten the screws the lock should move freely um, it, it doesn't it looks from the magazine like the little we'll call it a locating tab goes on the inside um, but it doesn't actually state an orientation so I'm gonna go with that um, and we'll see what happens I think that is correct now there is a hole there which obviously we want to line that hole up with the the lock on the outside and I think that's locked up uh, lined up sorry not locked up lined up and as soon as I touch it the whole thing moves so and I think the easier way to do it actually is just pop this screw in into there and then we can we can place that in there and then we can hold it from behind and then we can line this up over the screw hole like so now this is going to be tricky however we do it right wow this is a tricky part I will be honest with you there guys it's a little tiny bit fiddly right and that's not going in which suggests to me it's not even lined up there we go it's the lining of the screw lining up at the screw that's the, that's the tricky part right there we go right so um, I really don't know how tight is over tight I would suggest that's over tight because that's really difficult to move so I'll back that off a bit and that's that's got movement on it so I'm just gonna back off a little bit so what I would suggest is that it's easy to move from the outside and we'll just try that from the inside so you see there I am moving it so I would suggest that's absolutely fine now if this is a door lock we need it to be stiff enough that when you lock it it stays locked but when you open it what you don't want is you lock it and then it just uh, see I would say maybe that's too that's too loose because if you see that I can I can move that without touching it so I don't know this is a really tricky one guys right that is can be moved from the outside but it's 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 movable but it's not trick not not easy so I would suggest that's probably right so yeah that's fine I'll go with that so um, that is the end of the stage guys um, so uh, let's turn the instructions off and bring the finished parts through um, and this is what we're left with um, so we have this uh, wonderful looking door which I'm really happy with that looks like the uh, the magazine and apart from this gap in the bottom of the uh, um, the bottom of the uh, the seat um, that looks the same I suppose I could get some scale uh, if I get some travel maps or something 
and maybe just uh, print it off in, in the same scale as this and we'll just chuck that on the back seat over there uh, maybe a few little bits and bobs um, so I don't know if th maybe you could suggest something guys what could I cover that up with maps um, uh, packets of crisps you know things for the day trip I don't know anyway look guys that's the end of the build um, yeah I'm happy with this um, I'm uh, yeah it's a good little issue uh, shame about the interruptions while I was filming but um, that's um, this is all very experimental it's something that I've just realized could happen um, but yeah so I'll catch you in the next video uh, which will be issue 47 and that's going to be the left front seat base and I believe that for the next for the rest of the pack the next four issues we are going to be working on the front left uh, left front seat um, so take care guys and I hope to catch you in another video bye bye